Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is another video. Uh, apparently I am changing the date that I post to Fridays because I am having trouble managing my time a little bit. Uh, and also, as a reflection of that, I am so sorry, but this time the video is going to start from the second uh, layer because as you all know, I am streaming while painting and I am using that file from the streaming to also upload to YouTube and it has a time limit and then it expires and I was working so much on the website and on a commission that uh, I lost track of the time and I didn't download before it expires the, the first layer but well enough talking about my stupidity and let's talk a little bit about that painting so the previous one i also did in gold and i really loved the style and i wanted to experiment a little bit more with the gold background although this is something that a lot of people do nowadays right but i wanted to have my own experience and i had the idea of playing with the effect of the reflection using that in advantage for the glasses because the picture that I, I was using as a reference had a how do I say it? it's a mirror lens I think that's how you say the the type of lens that she has in the sunglasses and there's a lot of reflection on the video you will not be able to see that but again it's like when you pass by the painting you can see it reflecting and it looks like the glasses are really reflecting the light uh, the hair I wanted to play around I always like to add something to contrast with the texture so I work a lot in some parts and I like to leave a part rustic or in the case of the minimalist I work a lot on the whole figure but I, I leave something undone that is the background in this case I thought it would be nice to leave the hair a little bit undone because since she was wearing uh, the sunglasses I didn't have much of the face to work with so I thought it would be better visually to just play around with the hair and I made like a little bit cartoony because I just went with a single color I didn't think too much about mid-tones and I use the background as a highlight, thinking on the reflex that the light's having on her face would probably be reflecting on her hair. The end, I do like. I, I'm not going to say that it is among my favorites. I think uh, the lighting was not so well in certain parts of the face. And I got too excited when I saw the sunglasses and the idea to play around with it that I didn't realize that uh, I could not see the tails on the mouth, for example. The mouth was really, really, really difficult because it was something without definition the reference. But I worked my best to bring as much realism as I could to the mouth. Uh, the gold I do with acrylic. Although I do know that there are several types of gesso in the market and some gesso are even gold or with pieces of something that shines. And then I went with the oil ink on the top. Because of those parts that I left the background to contrast like the glasses and the hair, I had to use glazing technique as well, that is the, a lot of liquid with a little bit of ink so you can have a lot of transparency. And I think that's pretty much what I could say about the painting itself. I, I made a little bit of a mistake on the positioning of the the figure as well actually one thing uh, if you do paint or you are thinking about painting or drawing 
you should study the golden ratio or stuff about uh, painting composition or I don't know, it's scene composition. I did check a few things uh, on the internet, but I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't absorb any of that and I, I still think that I do it wrong. It's what photographers use and also artists to think on where they have to, to bring the eyes, where it has to be the point of interest. And then they, they compose something that is really high level. I do know the shape of the golden ratio, but if you say, okay, but what does that mean? Where do you have to place the stuff? No, I don't know. But just in case, my tip would be study that. If you understand, you're going to do better than me. Well, that's enough for today. I hope you enjoy seeing the end of the painting. And if you do like, please subscribe, like, comment, and, can, and click on the ring button so you can receive notifications whenever I post new content. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.